Good afternoon, you all. This is Ned. And this is Michelle. And collectively, we are MyPhilippineDreams.com. <laughs> Welcome to another issue of Wednesday Weekly Wrap-Up. Actually, today is Saturday. Yeah, we're on Filipino time. <laughs> yeah, it's just the way it is. Actually, we're very important people doing very important things, so time is a commodity. So what's been going on recently, Michelle? Um, we, have, we had some electrical issues. Yes, electrical issues. Um, if you have been to the Philippines or if you live in the Philippines presently, you know that a lot of places that you get are not grounded. So we had a grounding issue in the house which is causing our new PC to con uh, constantly reboot. Um, mm -hmm. And we we're also getting shocked by metal appliances in the house. Um, and considering that we have an electric water heater in the shower, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. So the landlord came along and had some dude run around outside and said they fixed it, so we'll see. We're not quite sure yet. What else is going on? Um, house hunting. Yes, we're house hunting. We're still looking for a place. The neighbor the other day got a little crazy with the music at like 10 o'clock at night, was blasting it. You know, you can hear the subwoofer through the walls and everything. Michelle was trying to sleep. Uh, it actually woke, uh, woke me up. Yep, it woke her up and she was, you know, she needs, she, you get up for work at what time, two? Two. Two, yeah, so that wasn't cool. So I went out and threw some rocks at his roof and they finally uh, settled down after a while, but I think it's time to move. And we checked out a place yesterday, we're actually going to be showing the video of that tomorrow. Um, and you can see what we're looking for when it comes to a house. The place was almost perfect except for the inability to open the windows and close the windows on the second floor because of the way they set up the security grates and screens, which is kind of crazy. So you'll see that. Uh, Wayne Static passed away of Static X. I listen to their, I, every day at the gym I listen to their music and I guess I, they had, didn't say if it was an overdose or not but I know he had a problem before so um, I guess that happened like November 1st and I just found out about it so condolences there. He's a great musician, a great band, it's a damn shame. What else happened? PMP. PMP checkpoint, yes I got pulled over, uh, they grabbed my paperwork, they see I, I purchased my bike on December 31st this past year and I still don't have a plate because Yamaha hasn't gotten it because they haven't paid their sales tax. Come on Yamaha. So he gave me a hard time and then I pointed out to his bike, he had an XR200, all the police have him, and his bike also said for registration. So I said, dude, if you can't get your plates, how the hell am I supposed to get my plate? So he cut, he cut me loose. Uh, it's also hot today. It's about 90 degrees here in Dumaguete, the city of gentle people, and with the humidity it has a real feel of about 107. You'll see me sweating already, and I'll probably sweat through this shirt in a short period of time. Coming up to siesta in about five minutes. Uh, Cove Sands. We're going back to Cove Sands tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, hang out with some friends down there, and just have a relaxing day on a nice little beach, and you know, just chill out for a day because we've been running flat out for the past week. So that'll be nice to hang out with our friends and stuff down there. Um, also, we. In the process of our house hunting, we ran into our buddy Bud Brown, he of the Romantic Tagalog uh, series. He's got a series of uh, instructional videos and ebooks and stuff mm -hmm. on Tagalog. He's, he's fluent in Tagalog and he keeps trying to seduce my Uya, even though he's been married for over 40 years. Um, but it was really interesting seeing a foreigner who could speak fluently with, with the community and the interactions that they were having. And I, I've been you know, lackadaisical on learning Visaya, and I really have to because when you can speak the language, you're in like Flynn. It's a whole different world here. He had gaggles of, you know, hordes of people all around him, kids laughing, joking around. Um, so that's really important. If you're going to stay here long term, you've got to learn the language. And I wish I had his language skills. And leave my girlfriend alone, bud. Um, <laughs> Bud's, going, Bud's going down with us to Cove Sands. I've got to keep him away from you. Um, turkeys. I almost got murdered by a herd of turkeys that were crossing the road on my way back from the gym today. That was kind of rough. Uh, and more important news, you might notice something different about Michelle. Oh my God. Um, if you haven't noticed what it is yet, I'll tell you. Her hair is flat. It's called what? What do they call it? Reborn. Rebond. They call it rebonding, which is basically they take a Filipina's naturally lustrous wavy <laughs> hair and they flatten it out and you can't she can't go swimming tomorrow because you can't go in the water for how long ah uh, three days hey no i i when you have when you had with your hair one that you can't really go swimming ever again no i was just 
That's why Philippines <laughs> doesn't again, but after a few months. A few months, okay. So Michelle won't be going in the water tomorrow because of her hair. And, you know, it's, it's, it's her life, and, but I fell in love with crazy hair jungle girl. <laughs> now there's a strange girl in my house. Anyways. Um, and finally, I had the issue with the staph infection. I had the issue with my back being blown out seriously. It still is, probably herniated disc. So I wasn't able to go to the gym for the longest time, and I lost a lot of strength, but my strength is coming back. I noticed it in particular today. So that's kind of cool. Um, you know, because working out, and I'm passionate about it, and it's something that's good for you. Of course, I, I counteract that with the smoking, but hey, <laughs> you can't have everything. Um, so that's, and just feeling healthier and being healthier and, you know, trying to stay properly hydrated and stuff, especially in this heat. I don't know why we're having a heat wave in the end of November. Oh. Finally, what's coming up in Dumaguete? Fiesta! Fiesta! Yes, Dumaguete is having its fiesta, I believe the 25th, 26th? I think the 24th. 24th, something like that. All I know is I came here on the 26th. Um, this time last year and when I went into the city I was like man this is the most congested overcrowded city I have ever been in it was total insanity and come to find out it was siesta so again another misadventure my, I, my first day here was a misadventure because I didn't plan or I didn't know that it was fiesta and the place was just mobbed with people because that's what happens I mean Dumaguete is probably gonna be pushing close to like 700 800,000 people yeah, because oh. its its regular population is 130. That's its full-time mm -hmm. And during the day, with the students and all the workers coming in, it's 400,000. So Fiesta, it's going to be even more. It's going to be total chaos. But it should be fun. And I'll probably be getting, we'll be getting footage of that. It's going to be a busy week. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably be getting the early morning and early afternoon footage. And Henry will probably be getting the nighttime footage because I have to be in bed by 9. <laughs> so Henry, if you're watching... I got the I got the mornings covered. You take care of the the evenings. He's more much more of a night owl than we are. So that's about it. Anything you want to add? Um, going to Tanhai. Yes, yes. Michelle is is leaving me <laughs> for another man. Uh, Where are you going? To, going to Tan Tanhai. Yeah, T A N J A Y. Pronounced Tanhai. Mm -hmm. um, it's on the way up to Bais. It's about yeah. 30 kilometers away from Dumaguete, and the reason you're going there is... Birthday! Birthday party! And she asked me if I wanted to go along, and I was like, no. no. I'm taking siesta and chilling out. <laughs> I can already feel myself starting to sweat through this, this t-shirt. <laughs> Alright, back to life in my boxer shorts. Um, that's about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, tomorrow I'll be putting up the video on house hunting. This past week we had the one on... Sticking it out, long-term relationships, got some good feedback from that. Again, that was just my opinion. Not everybody is into long-term relationships, and that's cool. I was just expressing my views. Um, and we got some other footage coming up of Fiesta, and we got some more stuff from Tembo Bo Bay and Cuckoo's Nest that I haven't put up yet. Um, so you get to look forward to that. Woohoo! <laughs> That's it. Take care. If you are interested in the channel, subscribe. If you have anything you want to add, any questions for us, leave it in the comment section. Until next time, this is Ned. And this is Michelle. And we are My Philippine Dreams. Take care. Bye. Hmm. You got fleas? Of course you got fleas. Who's that? You want to dig? What are you looking for? <laughs> Good morning means coffee's gonna be ready. What are you doing? Yeah? Really? God bless you. Oh. You're on YouTube, dude. You could be a star. You could be a star on YouTube. You could get a million views. You could go viral. Yes, because you're a dog who thinks he's a seal. Is that it? Yeah, no. Sounds like. How many syllables?